Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be testing bows on Fallout 76. I'm a bow build. And why is this important? What what are we testing? Let's explain. So basically there is a perk called Grenadier, which has a lot of uh, mixed opinions because it hasn't worked in the past. It worked differently in Nuclear Winter. People don't understand it. Uh, and it's unclear sometimes. So it says that it doubles the explosive radius. So we're going to start by turning it off. And I'm also going to explain why is that important? Well, you see, concentrated fire is what we have to sacrifice in order to fit that in because we need all these other damage perks and we need the armor pen. So there's really no other option but concentrated fire. Now, why is this important? You may, th a lot of people think, oh, I only need rank one of this. But what this perk does not tell you, this card, concentrated fire, increases your limb damage specifically. Now, this is even better than, say, having a uh, 50 limb damage bow as you see these are both 50 limb damage bows and these do next to no limb damage but if you run concentrated fire 3 specifically because obviously it's better than the other two it does a lot of limb damage now for your normal day-to-day -day, like mob clearing that doesn't matter at all because you're probably going to one shot most stuff right but when you're versing scorch beasts when you're versing giant boss monsters like earl and whatnot it is very important to be able to cripple them as you know a lot of these buffoons don't realize crippling the scorch beast wings will bring down the queen so so because you have massive range on the bows that is extremely important and you could be a boon to the entire server by being able to bring down the queen when no one else can the only thing that comes close is having someone spray in the air with a pepper shaker and hopefully damage their limbs but they're literally hitting ones because of the range of the pepper shaker so it like this is the single best weapon in the game with concentrated fire for bringing down the scorch beast and forcing them to land now that being said uh, I'm not going to test it on the pyro bow because the pyro bow has insane range. This has insane range. Um, actually, no. Let's let's we are going to test it on the pyro bow. Uh, let's see if there's something I can hit out over here. Hmm. This, it's going to be tricky because, like I said, this has insane range. It is very deceptive range. So as you can see, we do not have grenadier turned on right now. So it should be very easy to see if uh, what you call it is you know, if it's doubling the range. So if I shoot any closer, it's probably going to wake them up. We're shooting there. And now we're going to turn on the perk that doubles it. So it should have double range. You saw that it hit him for one. Oh, would you look at that? That also, so, it, like, I have tested this extensively. This is not, like, my only test. I have tested this with both the normal bows and this pyro bow. The pyro bow, as I said, has incredible range. Incredible range. And that is without the grenadier perk. With Grenadier, you'd think, because it already has incredible range, it should be extremely easy. It should be hitting from, like, over here. And it's not. It should be extremely easy to tell if it's buffing the range, and it's not. I have tested this with friends in PvP. I have tested this against a numerous amount of enemies, and it does not seem to work. Now, uh, just just in case, I guess let's test it on... Uh, let me pull out my god bow. These are all bloody compound bows, by the way. All of them. So... We don't have the perk on. Well, let's let's just prove it. See, we don't have Grenadier on right now. Let's see. And you see the the range is is pretty pretty decent already, right? Like no slouch for for the range. But if we put it on because it's doubling our already diff decent range, it should be super brain dead easy to see. Oh, it's it's working. Would you look at that? That it's definitely not doubling it. I like I said, I've tested this with solo um, against uh, a friend aggroed in PvP. Maybe I'll upload another video where I show that. Um, but at least from my testing on. Uh, PS5, it, Grenadier is a complete wasted perk slot for specifically bows. Uh, it does not seem to work on either the Pyro mod or the 
explosive tipped arrow. That being said, I also want to make it abundantly clear that it does not work on far-flung fireworks. People think that it works on far-flung fireworks. It a thousand percent does not. There is conclusive proof on this, at least. Uh, Tier uploaded a video on YouTube. You can look up far-flung fireworks on YouTube. Uh, Tier, T-Y-R, and you'll be able to find a very, very comprehensive testing. I pretty much followed his exact testing to test this for PvP, this bow. Uh, but like I said, my friend's not on Line right now and I kind of really want to upload this but uh, like I said it seems like a lot of us bows have been w wasting a perk slot you know if you're already running other explosives like maybe you have a two shot fire rate reload hellstorm missile launcher yeah you probably want to use the grenadier perk because as I said like when things already have crazy range it is extremely easy to tell if grenadier is affecting it because look at this isn't that like night and day difference? That is an extreme night and day difference, and I think it's the same with the bows. In my testing, I would say it is conclusive that it does not work on the pyro or explosive tipped mods, but uh, that being said, if anyone has any sort of proof, any sort of video evidence that, that proves me wrong, I would love to see that because honestly, I would love to be wrong. I have been using Grenadier for quite a while and it not working. And I'm pretty sure I said this before, but it a thousand percent did work on Nuclear Winner. I loved Nuclear Winner. I had Overseer rank. Uh, I had every single perk unlocked. I had everything unlocked and I still have a bunch of my Overseer tickets uh, after getting every single perk card in it. <laughs> So um, it, it did work in Nuclear Winter. It was a night and day difference. Like I said, because it's doubling your already big range, it should be extremely easy to tell if it's working, right? should be extremely, extremely easy. Uh, and, and we'll do one more demo. I'll swap again to show uh, with a, a, an easier thing to see. Like, look at this. It's it's not even it's not even like a question. It's so unbelievably easy to see. So I really think that a lot of the information uh, people have been given is incorrect. Um, and as I said, please, if you have any sort of proof of your own, uh, please feel free to comment it or you know <laughs> let me know in some sort of way uh, because I would I would want to be wrong about this. But unfortunately, from my testing here in Morgantown, from my testing at West Tech, from my testing against the homie in PvP with no power arm or no armor on, uh, I really think that it's conclusive that unfortunately, uh, Grenadier is not useful on bows specifically. So if you were running it specifically for your explosive tipped bows and what have you, uh, unfortunately, it seems like we have a wasted perk. Um, I have also tested this out on the recurve. As I said, right now I am using the compound bow. Uh, I've also tried it on the crossbow, uh, for which uh, the crossbow I tested it on was a no prefix, uh, aim damage, less vats cost. It was a quad, but uh, Bethesda thought that quad crossbows were a problem for some reason, even though uh, they were not at all. So, <laughs> so that's my video. Like I said, please, if you have any sort of evidence, um, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in your opinions, um, but anything anecdotal, you know, uh, trust but verify. This is my sort of verification, my brief testing. Um, and as I said, if, if people really want more, I could certainly test this a lot more as I've, I've spent years and years and years perfecting a uh, bow build. Um, I, I have a crazy build. A lot of people use co covert ops and whatnot for their builds, but it doesn't make sense because during events, it's not going to function. So like I said, maybe maybe one day I'll do a, a build guide for a min-max bow build with, with god roll bows. But uh, for now, this is just Grenadier perks, and feel free to let me know if you have any sort of proof or your opinions on the matter or even just reminiscing about how fucking awesome Nuclear Winter was. So yeah, without rambling on too much more, that's the video. Bye.